I have a dwarf in a strange mood, don't I? Okay, you are hauling cloth still. God damn it. <laughs> you really hate your gloves. This dwarf has a very tattered glove. Thirsty drowsy, possessed by unknown forces. You know, I I, I, I had I ate some lucky charms in granola in granola bar format recently. Why do people like edible styrofoam? It has about the same texture as styrofoam. It squeaks when you bite it just like styrofoam. I mean, cows are like horses. Just don't walk behind them. It's just not a good idea. Not wise. Holy sh- Oh no. <laughs> Uh-oh. 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 I only just realized we've got a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Child is claiming all of the alpaca wool cloth. I don't have any animals I can shear for more wool. So it's just whatever we got. It's a parachute point. <laughs> it's, it's, it's certainly close to that. I'm gonna eat that full. I mean, her clothing is literally falling apart as she's making this thing. This is Casualty and Big Sparn's kid, by the way. I, I love the fact that they lose their clothes when they die, so it's just like there's a picture of a naked man in here. It's like, Grandfather, what's the agenda today? Uh, apparently watching this kid collect every single piece of llama wool cloth and alpaca wool cloth in the entire fort is a horror dove a pigeon? Because it, it's a poor, anyway. Bidgins? <laughs> Biggins? He didn't drown the fort, but there was so many body parts and corpses, it took two seasons to clear the mess. Oh. You know, I, now that you mentioned it, I've never actually seen a baron and a pit or not baron and a pigeon. I've never actually seen a dove and a pigeon in the same space. I think this is a known bug. I'm pretty sure this is a known bug. Like, I remember seeing a screenshot of somebody who's who had a, a, a dwarf that just started collecting silk. And, um literally required every single cobweb from an entire cavern layer. Microcline, rough morions, beak dog bone, alpaca wool cloth, one humped leather, camel leather, uh, alpa llama wool cloth, rough rock crystals, alpaca wool cloth and donkey leather and sheep's wool cloth and alpaca wool cloth and alpaca, llama wool cloth and alpaca wool cloth and sheep's wool cloth and alpaca wool cloth and llama wool cloth and alpaca wool cloth, llama wool cloth and alpaca wool cloth, llama wool cloth and alpaca wool cloth, llama wool cloth, alpaca wool cloth, llama, alpaca, llama, alpaca, llama, 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 sheep. Llama, llama, dig, dig, pretty much. Currently she's hauling nothing but she decided to go for bones. Okay, she's got horse bone. Just trying to throw you off the set. True, yes. Thirsty and drowsy, me too. You thought she was going towards the body? Nope. Let's see, if she begins a mysterious construction, I will be very happy. Why is she so slow? Cause, hor it, Cause she's seven years old and she's carrying half a horse worth of horse bones. God damn. <gasps> wow. I wonder if they can do that. I think they might just bring her a bucket of water. She's in a constant state of internal rage. After seeing Udil's dead body in 295, she is bashful, bashful, and she has a strong tendency towards privacy. She finds helping others to be emotionally rewarding and can get caught up in internal deliberations when action is necessary. Uh -huh. uh, she isn't particularly ambitious. Right. I call BS on that. Uh, she is quick to form negative views about things. Okay. Uh, she tries to keep her things orderly. Well, at least she's stacking things nicely then. And uh, she can handle stress, clearly. And she is little interest in joking around. And she's sitting still. Juice! How much? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. How, how, many, how many things did she make? One. Okay, so hold, hold on. How many pieces of cloth? One. Or just how many items? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 39, 40, 41 items. It's going to be a mug. Chat, what do you think she's going to make? Any bets? It's going to be worth so much. I bet it's going to be worth like llama wool toy axe. Damn, fake beard. God, I wish they could make a fake beard. That would actually be kind of fantastic. Is it normal to have a friend chill with them? A microcline amulet. Zuglar. The dwarven child has created Lero Monorang, a microcline amulet, and offers it to the armored boots. This is a microcline amulet. All craft store ship is of the highest quality. 
It is encrusted, encrusted with rectangular microcline cabochons and pear cut uh, opals. This is very expensive considering its material. It is decorated with beak dog bone and alpaca wool and sheep's wool and llama wool, and it's circled with bands of llama wool, sheep wool, alpaca wool, and horse bone. This object is adorned with hanging rings of alpaca wool and menaces with spikes of rock crystal and donkey leather. On the item is an image of... Uh, uh, sorry, hold on a second. On the end is an image of Nith Letterwaxed the dwarf in one humped camel leather. Nish Letterwaxed is making a plaintive gesture. The artwork relates to the mortal wounding of the dwarf Nish Letterwaxed in Heatstone in the early spring of 296. On the item is an image of dwarves in alpaca wool. On the item is an image of Flang Snarls uh, the dwarf. Uh, as Flang Snarls, the dwarf, and dwarves in, la uh, in llama wool. Flang Snarls is surrounded by the dwarves. The artwork relates to the ascension of the dwarf to... To the artifacts relates to the ascension of the dwarf as flying snarls to the position of king, that's me, uh, of the tufted urns in 268. Um, that's literally our king in this fort. Um, on the item is an image of Kulet Mirror mobbed, the dwarf and in alpaca wool. On the item is an image of an of a pipe section in llama wool. On the item is an image of dwarves in llama wool. It keeps going. Um, the the, the dwarves are traveling. The artwork relates to the foundation of Heatstone by the armored boots of the tufted urns in the early spring of 282. But wait, there's more. <laughs> the item is an image of uh, Kulet mirror mobbed the dwarf in alpaca wool. On the item is an image of dwarves in uh, llama wool. The dwarves are laboring. The artwork relates to the foundation of Heatstone by the armored boots and the tufted urns in the early spring of 282. Okay, continue to scroll down. Um... On the item is an <laughs> image of Shortass Stroke Leather, the dwarf and dwarves in Apocalypse Wool. Shortass Stroke Leather is surrounded by the dwarves. The uh, the artwork relates to the ascension of the dwarf Shortass Stroke Leather to the position of king of the tufted urns. Uh, and the in one nine five on the image on the item is an image of a citron tree in llama wool. On the item is an image of two giant black bears in llama wool. On the item is an image of bushmasters in llama wool. On the item is an image of Alana Hollowvine the dingo, of course, in sheep's wool. On the item is uh, Alana Hollowvine is laboring. The artwork relates to the settling of the dingo Alana Hollowvine to, in the True Dune in year seven. On the item is an image of a forgotten beast in llama wool. On the item is an image of a ballista arrowhead in alpaca wool. On the item is an image of dwarves in alpaca. Of wool. Um, the dwarves are laboring. The artwork relates to the foundation of Heatstone by the armored boots of the tufted urns in the early spring of 282. All right, I'm giving that to the king. Best artifact. <laughs> Fantastic. No complaints. Definitely nothing wrong here. It's 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 an amulet, Leroy. It's it's it it's an amulet. It's like a necklace. It's like a pendant. <laughs> All right. I I think it's time to say goodbye, YouTube chat. Uh, I think it's time to swap games for the evening.